Talking garage problems in Mount Vernon, police and public works employees are paying extra attention to a city owned garage that is drawing lots of complaints from residents. Our Ben Nandy has been looking into this and joins us live with those details. Hey Ben, what's going on right now? Well, there are a handful of problems that I've noticed here with my own eyes and that people in this community who park here have been telling me about. Uh, there are many problems and the people who have been parking here paying $65 a month uh, have some issues here and their main problem is damage to their cars. They're also concerned about this place becoming a hangout for people who might not have anywhere else to go and they believe that and some also some city workers believe that this is uh, leading to some cars being damaged. Residents say the elevator hasn't been working for years and they sometimes find themselves navigating a garage filled stairwell just to get to their cars a few levels up. They say toward the end of the summer, uh, they then th noticed their cars started getting damaged as well. It was mostly wipers, mirrors, exterior damage, but very aggravating. Uh, one garage customer who's hit, been hit twice says it's getting ridiculous. When you got the fix, cost me over $100, about $120, $130. A week later, the same thing. He did it again. This time, I went to City Hall and I said, listen, something's got to be done. And as aggravated as they've been, neighbors say they have seen improvements over the past few days since they voiced their concerns at council. One is that they see a lot less trash. The trash is being emptied out, so they are pleased about that. Coming up on the news at 10, we are going to bring you the police's response to these complaints, which also includes uh, a warning to garage customers. 